Yes. Uh -huh. Just looking at the actual provisions for the indigent petitioners that can't pay for mailing or publication themselves, uh -huh. there was a reason why the state wrote it this way, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Could you get me exactly what would be the crime of spending funds unnecessarily? Yes, because you don't know what the law says. I think you violated the legislative authority that has allocated funds for indigent petitioners. Yes. And I just want to know how many indigent petitioners are out there that <laughs> the county decided, well, we're going to pay $65 every time they go out to serve a temporary protection order. Yes. Or we're going to pay the police department $65 because I think law enforcement is enriching themselves at the expense of the taxpayers. Mm -hmm that um, are being taxed on their properties or possibly their sales tax? Yes. And when I get to suing you for that multi-billion, ooh, every time you spend any money that has been legislative, uh, well, I'm the indigent, right, respondent that you did not serve, but you said that you attempted service on <laughs> Well, every time you did that, how much did you spend? Oh. $65 to the police departments or the sheriff's departments to drive around and act like they're serving somebody when they weren't? <laughs> I think that would be the fraudulent use of legislated funds ouch, for the payment of uh, ex parte order for additional 14-day period personal service. Yes. Now, of course, mm -hmm. when I get to uh, being able to speak to an actual attorney, yes. When you did these uh, not served, not served, did you get paid from the taxation of the population, $65 each time? <laughs> when you didn't have an actual attempt of service from June 1st to June 12th? Yes. And then uh, you had a motion hearing. Mm -hmm. And then 40 days later, you decided to issue it. <laughs> did you get paid from the indigent, indigent petitioner uh -huh, legislated funds to serve somebody that's not the respondent? Yes. Now that's going to be the multi-billion dollar question. Pooch, because I'm absolutely fucking sure that if the taxpayer paid the police department, you have been embezzling funds out of legislated authorities uh -huh, that has allocated funds for service uh, for indigent petitioners. Ooch. Those patrol cars that you were paying for. Ooh. Did you decide to drive around and not serve people and say you attempted to? Oh, oh. could you get me the actual amount mm -hmm, of the service fees? Yes, that uh, the police and sheriff's departments have gotten paid. Yes, for the last 20 years mm -hmm, from judiciaries mm -hmm, uh, for each and every proof of service. Ooh, and then each time that you attempted service and you did not serve the individual. <laughs> Now, I will sue you for every, every police department, every sheriff's department for really enriching themselves on the unjust enrichment of the tax patient, the taxation of the population. And it's going to be a big one, okay? There are a lot of cities in the United States, a lot of counties in the United States. And I find any individual in law enforcement that thought, well, they're an indigent petitioner and we're going to pay them for mailing and publication. Just give me that, those uh, legislated authorized allocation of funds for indigent petitioners, <laughs> because I'm wanting to sue every city today, okay, <laughs> every county, oh, every state, oh, choo, 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 choo. and every tribal government that thinks they can do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> now, um, you didn't really try to serve me, did you? You didn't want me in court. <laughs> You wanted me to have to jump through the hoops of uh, having to motion a corrupt court, mm -hmm. knowing that you issued it for two years, yes, knowing that it was a fraudulent attempt of mailing, pooch, because um, as we looked at the dissolution of marriage, Judge Rohr, yes, yes, um, as an indigent petitioner, mm -hmm. are there any funds available for proof of service on the indigent, yes, responded of a disillusion of marriage mm -hmm. exactly what are the qualifications to be able to to not have to pay for personal service and when you served me ooch, on approximately may 27th 28th of 2012 and you arrested me at the same time yes yes 
Did you get Did you get paid as a sheriff's department for that? Because I know it was a sheriff that arrested me. <laughs> Transported me to the Port Angeles Police Department. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Criminal complaint. Yes. Mm -hmm. Officer LaRue uh -huh. actually took the statement was on the stand. Yes. Mm -hmm. For uh, contacting Healthy Families of Clown County to find out if they got the documentation. Yes. From the Attorney General of Guam, yes, that I had completed a diversion, uh -huh. seven hours of parenting classes, yes, and I wanted to reconcile with my wife and children. <laughs> now, um, this uh, response to the petition, yes, motion for default, order of default, <laughs> where when I saw that online, I ran right down to the courthouse to find out what the fuck it was. <laughs> yes, he did. I didn't want a divorce, yes. I didn't want my sons taken from me, yes. <laughs> And then you decided to continue with the dissolution of marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. After a contempt of court. Now, I included some, some links and uh, to my drive where it's known as contempt of court forms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, I didn't fill one of those out because I didn't know about contempt of court in 2012. <laughs> and since I've had all these personal experiences, yes, <laughs> I felt reluctant to actually motion the court to do a fucking thing considering what you've done. Yes. Now, poop, poop, poop. Um, I just wanted to know, uh -huh. uh, Commissioner Brent based in Sheriff's Return of Service, yes, 628 of 2012. Um, who paid for that? Mm -hmm. uh, every one of these, oh, 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 <laughs> well, I know you have to protect the petitioner, but the truth of the matter is I've never done anything criminal, mm -hmm. and uh, I really done and nothing, um, what, what's it called again, contempt of the restraint provisions, yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never have, and that uh, accident, you know, if I was trying to, Ooh, I probably wouldn't have included the Attorney General of the United States legal firm in that email. <laughs> you can't say it's cyber stalking when it really doesn't address the person. Yeah. Not like Heidi has every IP address everywhere in the world. Yeah, she does. <laughs> it would have had to say something to the effect of, I'm your husband and you have to come back to me and <laughs> you have to fuck my brains out and suck my dick for the next 10 years. <laughs> and I never sent an email like that, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Now, I just wanted to know, okay, because that would be lewd and lascivious, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Did somebody use my email addresses without my knowledge? Did the, mm -hmm. Now, I noticed she didn't sign this. Yes. And she didn't sign that. Yes. And this signature is not the same as that signature. Yes. And that I didn't receive actual notice of the hearing. Yes. And there was uh, no personal service, service by mail or service by publication. When you decided to use the legislated funds for the publication and mailing, yes. what was the reluctance on the part of the court to not allocate those same funds to do the same thing? <laughs> Are you not applying the same laws the same way to the every court hearing? Did somebody say, well, I'm not paying for that? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you did pay for it, didn't you? Yeah. You paid for it in 2013. Oops. You pay for mailing and publication. <laughs> well, why didn't you pay for mailing and publication <laughs> in 2015? <laughs> now, did you run out of the allocated legislative funds that are there for indigent uh, 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 petitioners? Because the way that I see it, you haven't done a fucking thing. You have not consistently applied the laws of Washington State as they pertain to the use of the taxpayers' funds. Oh.